Oh, Doctor, glad I caught you. I thought you might want to hear what Ben had to say. Quick catch up. Who are you? Who's she's, Ben? She's the... I know who... I'm, I'm more being like... I know who she is, but I'm like, who are you, though? Does that... I'm not sure Ben will be coming in for a while. He's still pretty shook up about finding the body. I'm surprised it doesn't happen more often in the line of work he's in. Anyway, he said he found the body at exactly 20 minutes past 10. And for some reason, the first thing he did was look at his watch. That's all he'd say before he'd shut down. The police weren't very talkative either. What if, what if we are a patient who thinks they're a doctor and all of these people are supposed to play act this with us. Wasn't there a movie with that exact premise? I don't know. In my mind, my per- my my opinion, I feel like somehow like all these people are like like uh, parts of your of ourselves. Does that make sense? That's definitely been a movie. Yeah, probably. No, don't you remember that movie where it's like all the people in the motel? And they all represent. Parts oh yeah, of that. yeah, yeah! What is that movie called? I don't fucking remember. That was a fun movie. It was really stupid, but I loved it. <laughs> um. So it was like all these people are in a motel together, and then like at the end, it's like well, he's you have a. You're literally gonna spoil the whole movie. There's a bunch of people in a hotel together. Yeah. And that's it. But anyways, <laughs> so a possibility for this though is that like. We, I feel like there's a movie where one of the patients thinks Shutter that, Island. Shutter Island, yes. I've never seen it, but I know what that's what the premise is. Yeah. He the, thinks he's a detective and everybody else is like, but, yeah, sure, okay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So. Sorry, didn't you know? Ben's one of the night shift cleaners. I'm sure he's got some tales he could tell. What is up with this woman? She not yes. wearing shoes? Ben found Dr. Decker's body on Valentine's night in his office. In your office. Why does nobody wear shoes here? I don't know. Maybe it's like one of those, like, please take your shoes up to become comfortable or something? I mean, there are places where you don't wear shoes. Yes, you know, the 14th of February, the day of love. Or remembering a massacre, whichever's more you. Oh yeah, the Valentine's Day massacre. Mm-hmm. So in case you guys don't know, there was like a mafia hit on Valentine's Day like a hundred years ago. It was like pretty romantic, you know, a lot of red. But a bunch of guys were lined up against a wall and they used submachine guns to kill them. I wouldn't say we were best friends, but we did spend a lot of time together. There's only two of us that work here. I'm sure we'll become friends too, Doctor. Just try not to get murdered. Yeah, it was in 1929. It was a murder in Chicago of seven men of the Northside Gang during the Prohibition era. It resulted in from the struggle between the Irish American Gang and the Southside Italian Gang led by Al Capone to take control of organized crime in the city. Well, I think that's just a really nice thing. There was also there was also a horror movie that came out like forever ago. Oh, oh Happy Dying Times Day or something like that? No, it was like I think it's literally called Valentine's Day. Um, oh, and he wears a Cupid mask? No. Oh. This is like a long time ago. It takes place like in a coal mining town and it's in a coal mine. I saw that movie. Re- yeah. Valentine's Day, a horror movie. And then, like, there's 17 twists. Is it... Was it My Bloody Valentine? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, there's, like, 17 twists in that movie. Where you're like, oh, wait, no! And then you're like, oh, God, that's double... Tri- oh, no, God, it's a twisty twisty! Yeah, Just twisting and twisting the whole time. The yeah. police wanted to know what I was doing Valentine's night, you know, when the body was found. I was at home, all on my lonesome... So I guess that makes me a suspect. You look like you're just so happy about death. I think the police want you to make a short list of suspects, or maybe even find the killer. You're seeing all the patients that were on the books when he was killed. 
there was no forced entry, so they think it might be someone he knew, or someone who had access to the office. Yeah. Like little old me. Do you think I'm a suspect, Doctor? Yeah, I mean... Yeah. I don't know. 100%. Sorry, I don't have a clue. Just take a look in the drop-down menu. Okay. Sorry, Doctor, I can't help you there. Because sometimes I've been able to get a good hint off of the non-drop-down. Oh, well, I wasn't expecting that. I suppose everyone's a suspect at the moment, even you. They did mention I needed grief counselling, though, and I said you'd sort me out. I know you didn't agree, but... I thought I'd let you know. That's very kind of you. Is this Shutter Island? Sorry, <laughs> that doesn't mean anything to me. <laughs> is this Shutter? Sh- is this Shitter Island? <laughs> I can't answer that. <laughs> okay, what else have we got here? I don't know exactly, but a stabbing of some kind. We'll be getting the autopsy through at some point. I'll I'll let you know when. Dr. Decker was killed on Valentine's Day. I should ask the patients where Where they they were were. that day. I'm wondering, they said she would need grief counseling, and I understand, like, she was probably his friend, but that feels like it implies something a little bit closer than friends, in my opinion. I mean, they give grief counseling to kids whose classmates get killed. That's true. And they also give grief counseling if somebody, like, is killed, like, at an office. They'll usually I'd set like up grief help, counseling. I'd like to but I don't know anything about that. Okay. Hmm. I don't know anything about that. Okay. Is there anything she said that po- that popped out to you? No. She's just acting like a weirdo? Yeah. Okay. I'm convinced it's Shutter Island. (laughs) I didn't see it myself, so I don't know. But I heard it was a bit of a mess with all the blood and everything. You know, they have people who clean up after such things, though, so you really can't tell, can you? Don't worry. That's a new chair. I just feel like she's doing something to us, and I don't know what it is. Maybe. All I know is the police took his chair. Forensics, I suppose. She keeps doing that to the couch. So there was a few things that I got hints from from the idol animations. She like the camera? Like the that camera, guy? yeah. I wonder, like, is she, like, uncomfortable? Did you type couch? That's a good question. I just wish I knew the answer. I wasn't really in his social circle, so I don't know if he had any friends. In terms of enemies, I heard things get heated in his office sometimes, but I won't name any names. I, well, I think she's his, like, uh, administrative assistant, so maybe she overheard sometimes, like, uh, heated heated discussions oh, or something. I thought she was, like, a colleague and they worked in the same... Co- you know how, like, therapists kind of all, like, share, uh, like, a semi-office? Yeah, and it usually has, like, an administrative assistant oh, who you're right. is, like, the shared, like, assistant for the office. The reason I assume she's the administrative assistant is not because she's a woman, but because she's the one that shows up and is like, oh, doctor, you're late, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you should have been doing this. And it and it seemed like... Um, I really felt like she was, like, hypnotizing us or something or, like, you know, breaking us down mentally... Because when people do repeated things like that, it's usually something, you know? Yeah. It's just, it's hard to tell, like, with this game in particular for me, what is, like, just kind of, like, atmosphere and what is, like, an actual hint about something, Mm -hmm. you know? You know, she never wears her glasses. It's good that you're asking lots of questions. I'm just not sure you're asking the right ones. 
Susan, Annabelle, Melissa, there are some names, but they're not names of anyone I know. So, okay, there she is. She's wearing them. <laughs> I was just like, most of her- She's not wearing her glasses. She's always holding- Lock her up right now. She's always holding them, and she like very rarely wears stabbed, them. stabbed, so that's quite a personal thing to do. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it was one of the patients who had a problem with the treatment they were getting. She very, rarely puts them on. I'm just surmising. If you're unhappy enough to kill your therapist, they're probably not doing a very good job. Maybe she's not who she says she is. Patience, Jaya. Am I saying that name right? Uh, your guess is as good as mine. Um, I, but... You ready to move on? Yeah, I, so, see, and another thing she says, like, say hello to Elin for me and let her know that Terry called for her. That seems to me like a, like, something, an administrative assistant. Like, why would another patient take a message for a patient? Side note for Elin, she said that, oh, Terry's just a co-worker who doesn't like her. Yeah. So why would Terry call for her? She has to be somebody who knows her a little bit more. Oh, I actually assumed that her patient had died. Oh, that's a good point. Um, but I don't know. I'm having a loop day. That sucks. I'm sorry. It's a do-over day. You won't remember. What's the name of your assistant again? You didn't know that yesterday. Can you remember where I met Hannah? Warcraft. No, it's school. Oh, school. I just... Well done, Doctor. Yeah, we met at secondary. Oh my god. Wouldn't it be funny Wait. if my day loops if you fail to get a question right? Wait a second. Is it really the next day, or does he think it's the same day? I don't know. That's a good question. What day is it? I'm not sure that's the answer I'm looking for. No. No, we played that game together, but we didn't meet in it. I suppose it's funny for you. You won't remember. Anyway, I think I'll probably head home. This isn't helping. Oh wait, I fucked it up because... Okay, I think I fucked that up. How so? Because I accidentally asked him, the, got something wrong, and he said, wouldn't it be funny if you got something wrong and that made my day repeat? Mm -hmm. And I said, you guys met in Warcraft because that was one of the drop-down things. Yeah. And so... I'm having a loot day. That sucks. Oh, so we have to get him out of the loop. It's a do-over day. You won't remember. What's the name of your assistant again? Hmm. I suppose you did remember that yesterday. Can you remember where I met Hannah? Wait, hold on, let me look at the... At school. Yeah, at secondary school. It's been fun, but... I've got a pill. A vitamin? That's a vitamin. <laughs> what pill? Dr. Decker gave me this pill. He told me if I took it, I'd never have another loot day. Uh, That's a vitamin C pill, bro. It's got a small skull and crossbones on it. Should okay. I take the tablet, Doctor? Mm, yes. I don't know. It's got a skull and crossbones on it. That's usually... It's uh, probably fake. That's usually symbolism for... You're gonna fucking die, dude. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I, I wouldn't tell him to take it because we don't know what it is, but... You're cool. I don't think this is getting us anywhere, though. I'll see you tomorrow. Again. 
Alright, so maybe we tell him to take the pill next time. I'm having a loot day. It's a do-over day. You won't remember it. What's the name of your assistant again? Well done. Can you remember where I met Hannah? I'm not sure that's the answer I'm looking for. Yeah, great. Is there anything you can say that's going to break this loop for me? I never mentioned a pill this time, or a tablet. What the hell is going on here? Are you reliving my days? Yes. I'm not sure that's the answer I'm looking for. Oops, sorry. Something somewhere has changed since you arrived. Like some kind of sim theory. So we have the default answers, but we can also go outside of them. It's a thing. Some professor believes we could be living inside a computer simulation, and someone is controlling okay. us. And there are millions of these sims. And someone somewhere behind a keyboard is just causing havoc. Are we in the I'm Digimon I'm starting to think world? you have that keyboard, Doctor. Wait, don't answer that. I don't want to know. That got weird. Mm -hmm. I like it. At midnight each day. On Valentine's night. Time as you know it freezes. 20 minutes past 10. Keep up, Doctor. Thinks we're gonna smother her in her sleep. I'm a grave digger, Doctor. I was at home. David as my husband. All on my lonesome. Stabbed him with a steak knife. Nothing changes. I'm a qualified angel of death. When I'm dancing. You get this day over and over. Hilda. I black out. I don't think she's got long. And the lorry just... Naked on the beach. Hannah. Is that it for today? I love you, mermaid woman. You can kill me anytime. Mermaid woman. I love you. She's so amazing. Act two, Valentine's Day. Ooh, deja vu. Are you sitting in exactly the same place I left you last night? Oh, that's where it all starts, Doctor. Hmm. Anyway, do you think you can fit me in today? Looking at the diary, it's just the usual suspects, and you must be getting sick of them already. I've got this for you, too. It's some more footage from Professor Alderby that was hiding away. Evidence well, added. Come find me if you need anything. 